What's up guys? How are you guys doing? Um, today we're going to be taking a look at um, exporting multiple passes into a open EXIR format in a CG program. We'll use Blender and uh, using all the passes in After Effects. You're going to need a plugin, but it's easy and I'll show you how to do that somewhat. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Just a quick tutorial. Shouldn't be too long. So I got this uh, little sand uh, thing I made here with the little scene in Blender. That's what the it looks like rendered. Um, so we want to take the multiple passes from like a normal UV, um, specular diffuse, shadow, reflection. You can do whatever you want. Um, I was running this at 3K, just one frame, and uh, we can look at all our options. So JPEGs are very, they're 8-bit, really compressed, you get no detail at all really. It's its nice and small, but not going to get the job done. And uh, PNGs are okay, you can get an alpha, TIFFs are really good, we could do it and you can render each pass individually but if you have a big file and like a lot of things going on in your scene it's going to take a um, a while to render so sometimes you might have to let it all render overnight instead of doing one render and clicking on a new pass then clicking that pass rendering it out so um, for my first attempt I used OpenEXR which I want it gets huge latitude so you can go um, got like a really bright object and scene you can like darken it you can see all the detail and the brightness same thing with the shadows really good for uh, compositing CG um, that was made by ILM they used on a bunch of movies and it's great um, GPX and Cine uh, Cineon are also good but um, OpenXR was good but I never forgot how to get it all in one uh, one file um, so I had to export EXR is from each pass, um, and the, for like my alpha, my ambient occlusion, each one, I had to render out each one individually, but you can, uh, you can put them all in one. All I gotta do is select, um, multi-layer, which still does an EXR. Um, you can do none, make it an alpha, RGBA, and, uh, yeah, just render it out, and it'll be one file with all the passes you select up here in one thing. So uh, just go ahead and hit uh, animate, and it'll do it. You'll get a big file, but it was uh, I think this one at 3K it was uh, like 250 megs for all my passes. So we'll bring it into After Effects, and I'll show you how to uh, comp uh, well get them out. This was my oh this was my uh, final composite of them. The it all very shadow and death really I'm not really a CG guy but I thought it's pretty good for my first one I thought first actual attempt so I dragged my EXR file that rendered out right here it's a linear light and uh, 3k uh, it's pinwheeling After Effects doesn't really like EXRs but I mean it'll do it, it'll be fine so don't worry about that it's just because it's big I'm gonna change it to uh, third right after it loads it in. It's because it has all this data within it now. The regular one, I just did one not a multi-pass XR. It was fine, but this takes a second and won't be bad right after it loads. So you need to go right uh, to this site uh, and go get Pro EXR. Download it for uh, Mac or Windows or whatever you got. And uh, what? This is Foreign where? I don't even know what they, whatever. This, go there, and uh, just go to your uh, After Effects um, plugins, was it? Yep. And then uh, just drop it right in here, that file, the OpenXR one. Have the Mac and has the extractor and identifier. Those are the only ones you need. You only need the extractor. So just drop it in your plugins folder and you're good to go. Alright, so you can see it's black, nothing's there, and that's 
fine because it doesn't know what the hell's going on. So what you need to do is go to uh, um, go get the extractor. It's in the 3D channel on the FX, and uh, plop it on. Still nothing happens. You need to tell it what um, uh, pass you want to look at. So you just click right here anywhere, um, and then it'll give you each channel. So if you want the combined uh, red, so hit the combined R for red, green, hit the combined G. I'm sure you're catching on. And then the alpha is A. And then hit OK. And then this should give me my full uh, fast once it loads. Once it loads. I'm running way too much stuff here. Okay, um, so there's our combined, and you can see that it's not like the render in uh, Blender, where it was really, that's what it should look like. Like, um, but yeah, I'm only in third. Full. This will load. It'll look a little better. I don't know why, but it looks cool. <laughs> I'll show you some things in a second. Any day now, always waiting. I just want all the quality so you can see everything. So it's got a lot of uh, detail in it. I'm zoomed all the way in there, but it was a 3K image. And you can see, oh, well, let me show you why it looks different. It's because it's in a, look at the project, look at the file, it's in a linear light. So it added a different color space onto it. So. Uh, no problem, just go to, click on your uh, file and go to the factory you use the most in utilities and <laughs> color profile converter and then just hit on linearize input and it'll bring it right back to where it needs to be. Um, so you can see that if I drag my exposure down, it holds, well just doing this, it could add uh, curves or whatever, same thing, it holds a lot of detail still in the shadows, using curves would probably be better and I can blow it out pretty good too. Gives you a lot of range, so let me just add a curve so it's more contrasty. You can actually see what the hell. Now it looks back to where it was and just... I don't know, I like using EXRs now for my 3D stuff that I use. Good for copying CG and you get all your detail and range. And uh, you can go back in here and you have to change, sadly you have to change each one, so if you want your Z uh, uh, depth you gotta keep or whatever your um, ambient occlusion you gotta switch it in for uh, red uh, where is it, ambient occlusion, and we're on green and blue alpha doesn't really matter and give it a second to load always loading I should probably close a few programs so this goes faster for tutorials, but there we go, ambient occlusion, awesome, alright, uh, this has gone on way too long, that's all I want to show you, maybe you guys will use it for your stuff if you need to, and just letting you know that you can do it in After Effects if you need to and you don't need to use Nuke or something. Alright, I will see you guys in the next one, hope you enjoyed, see you later. Peace.